What's up, my pretty white TVs? It's your girl, Greek Princess, here tonight for Taco Tuesday. So, as you all know, we are all quarantined in the house. So, I thought, since I can't go out and get tacos, which I probably wouldn't anyway, but sometimes I'll go to 10 Lizzie's. I don't know if you all heard of that. I know they have them in Atlanta, Georgia. So, Sometimes I'll go there with family or friends or whatever. But since we can't do that, we're having Taco Tuesday at the crib tonight. So, let me see. Let me see if I can do this thumbnail. Or. Or. Mm, I can't even pick up my tacos. They such a mess, y'all. It don't matter. So. We're going to do a thumbnail regardless of how it look. But anyway, so tonight I have, you've seen me make these um, spicy vegan tacos. Um, I have a video, so if you want to see how I made them, go back and see the video. But I figure, hmm, it's Taco Tuesday. I want tacos. So, of course, Christian um, requested these. So, I'm just like, yeah. So, since I'm eating by myself as usual because he ran upstairs with his tacos and his daddy is asleep and my other two kids that were supposed to do this mukbang with me they um, are quarantined as well at their own houses in the city so they are about to be on lockdown because Mayor Keisha Bottom um, has um, down a lockdown on the city of Atlanta. So look, we're going to make the best of it and y'all going to eat with me tonight. Like I say, my tacos are a mess, but I'm still about to tear them up. I got me some peppers, got me a red and yep. Is this orange or yellow? I think this is yellow. Anyway, so I got me a, a orange, a yep. <laughs> I got me a yellow and a red pepper to go with my tacos. And I've got some homemade ranch dressing already on my tacos. I'm about to put some, some sriracha on these bad boys. I'm probably going to end up eating these with a fork because, um, like I said, they're a mess. Got me some jalapeno peppers. I'm going to scoop these on in here. Y'all, I love these peppers, they are so good. And they just add so much flavor into your food. So, um, I've eaten these before with something. I think it was a chili. But they're um, deli sliced tamed jalapeno peppers. So, they have like, they're not hot, hot. But they have like a um, pickle taste to them. And I also have some salsa. So I'm about to tear it up, y'all. It's kind of late to be eating, but you know, it is what it is. I ain't ate all day. Actually, no, I had a, um, a kale salad earlier, but that was like, oof, it was for lunch. It might've been like one o'clock. I don't know, but I can afford to miss a meal or two. So I'm about to dig in get this first taco hopefully i can eat it without breaking it but we'll see hmm. they're not as crunchy might have took me too long to start eating but anyway oh my god it is so good y'all and my kids Missing out. So like I said, we are quarantined in the house. Mostly everybody's working from home that can work from home. I am lucky to be one of the ones that can. So I'm very blessed for now. 
Well, it ain't for now. For always. But yeah. So. Mmm. No. Mmm. I don't see this other one I'm broke. It ain't gonna be so easy to eat it like this. Y'all can see it. It's like a taco salad. I don't care. I'm about to tear it up. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I can taste the most is the um homemade ranch dressing because it's got lemon in it so that and the, the tangy peppers with that pickle yeah you put these tacos on mm. you know my Zola is a hairdresser or a beautician does it all lashes skin hair all of it so she had to shut down or close the shop for two weeks or 14 days and i was like you know what it's a shame when you're stuck in a house and all you can think about is gonna do my lashes who gonna do my nails and my hair so y'all see i've been rocking this bun for a minute hopefully i can get something done to it soon but if not a bun it is a ponytail or something because i ain't worried about it but lucky i have my play play daughter is a nail tech. So if I really, really need my nails done, I know she'll hook me up. And they're right in drill. And China, I know you gotta hook the girl up. Cause I can't keep rocking this bun. But my lashes too, so I don't want to start looking all crazy. I don't know that's the last thing everybody worried about, but at the same time, you know, women, especially the black women, we got to be cute. We ain't trying to look crazy, even if it's the end of the world. I ain't trying to look crazy. I still want to look halfway decent, you know. Hmm. Yeah. This world is crazy right now. Never seen this ever in my life. And I can say, I pray that we all make it through it and we don't never see it again. Because this is something like this is a bad movie, for real. Mm. No. These sweet peppers. Mm. They are good with tacos. But. Like I said, I think I'm going to end up having to eat this last taco with a fork because yeah it ain't gonna do it y'all it'll be a mess i wish my plate was higher so y'all can actually see i've got the vegan sausage i i've just grinded up just like taco meat put my taco seasoning all my other seasons in it um i got um, lettuce, tomato, my peppers, my jalapeno peppers, my salsa, and my sriracha. 
skin. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. It's hidden. But this taco is a little soft, but it's okay. Um, got me a fork right here. And I'm about to eat this thing like a salad. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So, how's everybody else doing? Because I know I've been watching CNN and y'all. I'm so disappointed in that president, in, in y'all's president. I ain't claiming him. He like a bad child. You know how you got a bad child? And you be like, look, I can't take you in the stoves. I can't take you nowhere because you don't know how to act. And that's what he doing. He embarrassing. I'm like, I, just, I don't want to be associated with him. It's ridiculous. So oh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm just so disappointed because he downplaying everything. He blaming people. It's like, what's that got to do with anything? Look, I don't care whose fault it was. Handle this thing. Stop it. Slow it down. Do whatever you need to do. But all that other stuff is irrelevant. You got people out here sick and dying so please do what you need to do mm, mm, mm. it's ridiculous but you know it's so many jobs today that are being worked by unexperienced people Especially in leadership positions, managers. People that don't know how to talk to people. People that have no experience dealing with other people. No people skills whatsoever. He get mad at reporters for asking legit questions. When did it become a problem for me to ask you how do you how do you explain or how do you address everybody else in the world that's not sick how do you how do you um how, what did he say he said how do you explain to them or make them feel or you know, the people that are afraid, what do you say to them? Why are he going to say, you're a bad reporter? The dude was looking like, what? I mean, because I know I was. I was thinking, how do you get that out of explaining to the people that are, that are afraid? You know, give give them some some encouragement or something tell them something but mm, mm -hmm. yeah like i said they put clowns in positions and then you got to sit back and watch the circus because that's what it is, a circus. So, a shit show. <laughs> and you got to sit back and watch everything unfold. And it's like you being like, ah, like, he talking about by Easter, all the church is going to be filled up in time for Easter. Really? You're going to be at church? 
who gonna be at church? You gonna send your grandmama to church right now? Who gonna send their grandmama and their granddaddy to church right now? And okay, say in three weeks. The way the numbers rising right now. Okay. All right, see this. It's got to be a real miracle. It just all disappear by Easter. I ain't saying, man, look. I thank you for the encouraging words. But look, let's be real. And stop lying to people. And, and filling everybody's heads with all this. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Tremendous. Beautiful. All these old kindergarten well not kindergarten words but middle school words you using to fill in for the for the the words that you don't have he just saying stuff I'm like tell these people the truth tell us all the truth please that's all we're asking for. I know you don't want people scared. Maybe. I don't know. Is that it? <clears throat> but I don't know about y'all. But it's a little late for that. To be trying to say, oh, don't be scared. When you're constantly watching the numbers rise. And if you were telling the truth, maybe more people will stay in the house. And stop still trying to go see cherry blossoms on the trees and at the clubs and all this old stuff. Be for real. I mean, I just I'm just like, look, you ain't got a lot of me. Give me all the truth right now. That way I know how to prepare me and my family. And we'll be ready. Like, don't keep telling folks it's a it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be a bit. What's this, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood? I'm just like, man. If you don't stop, stop lying. But anyway, you know, <laughs> enough about that. How's everybody doing with the kids in the house? Working from home and having the kids in the house. Hmm. I don't know about y'all, but my neighborhood is lit. And I'll tell you, I ain't even know kids live in the neighborhood. Well, I didn't say that. But the only time I see kids is when they're at the bus stop waiting on the school bus. On the weekends, you don't see them. I ain't seen them. It's like a virus out there. Now everybody want to come outside. Everybody want to come play. I look out the door the other day, and it's about five or six kids in my yard on bikes with basketballs. They trying to play basketball on my goal with Christian. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no. Um, I don't know what your parents thinking, but I know what this parent thinking. Go home, find something to do. All this time they've been in the house. I'm like, wow, what's that? But they just go back to them. And the same thing with me. And probably everybody else. If you free... To go and do whatever you want to do. You will be in the house. Because you like. I'm tired. I ain't mm -mm, feel like going nowhere. I'm off work. I just want to sit at home. And chill. But let somebody tell you. You can't go outside. Your mind be like. Uh uh. I cannot sit in here. Uh mm uh. -mm. I gotta go outside. And do something. That's what these kids doing. When they free to go outside and do what they want to do, they don't want to go. They'd rather be in the house, on the game, on their phones, watching TV, 
whatever. But now that they saying ain't no school, don't go outside, stay in the house. Now everybody want to come out and play. And while the ice cream truck, again, I'm walking. So I do still go outside and do my two, three mile walk and walk the dogs, you know, maybe one time around. Get them, you know, let them get some exercise because they're in the house just like everybody else, right? So... I walk out the door. I think I, I didn't have the dogs. I was just going out by myself because I want to get my two miles in first because they want to stop and pee on every mailbox and, you know, all this old extra stuff. So I want to get my exercise in before I take them. So the minute I walk out the door, I hear, I'm like, <laughs> do y'all not realize it's the virus out here. They don't care. It's like business as usual. Uh, Y'all want some ice cream? <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't know who might have stopped that truck or got some ice cream from him. But I'm like, so you ain't scared, huh? Because they saying that the kid's carrying it. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. You know, we're hearing all kind of stuff, so I don't know. But at the same time, it's like, uh, yeah, you got to kind of be cautious of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, the main thing is act like you have it. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from the kids. Um, Let them stay away from you. If they've been going outside and stuff, because... This is Christian's third week in the house because I took him out way before they made that decision at Atlanta Public Schools. I was like, look, I'm not about to wait for for somebody to get sick for me to take my child out of school. That's crazy. No, I'm not doing that. So I took him out earlier than everybody else, maybe about a week earlier. So I'm like... I don't know. It, it's crazy how everybody just out there acting like it ain't no thing. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all see that skill? The taco was broke, but I was able to pick it up. Half, half taco. <clears throat> And bite it without it breaking apart. I didn't even know I could do that. But apparently I can. But yeah. My ice cream truck riding. Got his music playing. All the kids screaming. Running up and down the street. I'm walking. Looking like give me six feet, please. Don't come try to play with the dogs. None of that. Stay over there. I'm over here. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I just hope we all, you know, make it through all of this. Mm. I'm not going to say hope. We are. We're going to make it. We're going to be strong. Just focus on why you're in the house quarantine. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. While you're in the house, boost your immune system. So if you do go out, if you do get it, you can fight it off, hopefully. <clears throat> but that was, a, before I started recording, there was a very inspiring story on, or not story, but on CNN, they were talking to a, um, a nurse 
that had gotten it. And she was older. She she had to be like 60 something. And her parents were like, they might have been like 80 something. I don't know. But um, they all survived it. She, she, she had it and they had Well, the mom was tested positive. She not showing no symptoms or none of that. The dad had it. He recovered. And the nurse had it. And she's recovering. Or she's recovered. So, there's a silver lining, y'all. So, don't panic and just assume if you get it, you're doomed. Don't think like that. Just do what you need to do to get that mucus from, from solidifying in your lungs. So, I know I heard that you could drink warm water through the day um, just in case you got it. Um, I've been drinking um, green tea. And um, me and Christian, we've been every day drinking like two, three cups of green tea, <clears throat> hot tea. And <clears throat> did it again. I don't know. We don't know. What helps, what doesn't help. All I know is It makes sense because when you have mucus in your throat, and when you have a cold, any citrus or hot tea with lemon, honey, all that kind of stuff breaks up the mucus. So it only makes sense to drink hot liquids. You know what I'm saying? Because if you drink cold, it's going to harden. So warm will keep it flowing. So just remember that. I mean, it can't hurt, even if it ain't true. I'm not gonna give no more advice on what to do because the last time I gave advice about the breathing thing, they talking about it was a myth. Holding your breath for 10 seconds, um, drinking a lot of water to wash it away, which I still, <laughs> alkaline water, yep, I still say. And I still follow behind it. Mm hmm But. I don't know. About the. Water washing it away. Or none of that. But. I don't know. For a fact. That if you have an alkaline body it's hard for any disease to live in an alkaline body and the more alkaline foods you eat along with the alkaline water will set you up and you can pretty much fight anything that I do know so just remember that the more alkaline foods you eat which is fruits and vegetables, alkaline water. You can go look online and pull up a list of all alkaline foods. And you'll see. And most alkaline foods you eat anyway. Some of y'all, but um, the more alkaline foods you eat, compared to acidic foods, which is the meats and cheese and eggs and all that stuff. That's um, acidic foods. So <clears throat> kind of eat those sparingly. Mm. But, you know, a lot of people just or in survival mode, or trying to be in survival mode, and running to the grocery store, buying all the crap on the shelves, and not thinking, I need to boost my immune system. If we're gonna be quarantined, and nobody in the house has it, you wanna be getting strong and healthy. So, if you do have to go out, It'll be hard for it to get on you. 
or in you, whatever you want to say. But I believe that. So I'm sticking to what I believe. I'm, I'm not saying that you have to do what I'm telling you to do. But sometimes you have to think if stuff makes sense, it might be something to look into. But, you know. So just me telling you what I'm doing and how I think about the situation. A strong immune system. That's the goal. And you say, who knows who has a strong immune system? We don't know. Most of the time you can tell by how often you get sick. If you get a cold every three months or every six months, twice a year, three times a year, you might need to look into that. But usually a strong immune system means like if people are sick around you and you don't get sick, your immune system is doing what it's supposed to do. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, I do. We got to do to stay healthy, stay strong. Look, I'm going to say. And you know, it felt like I had 10 tacos. And I only had two, but they were four. And I was struggling to eat them because they had broke, or one of them had broke. But it was so good. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta try those. It's my spicy vegan um, taco video. Shows you how to make them. And these peppers are so good. Mm. Christian has gotten hooked on these. But I love anything crunchy. Cucumbers, peppers, um, celery. Um, I eat any of that. And give me some homemade ranch dressing. I don't even have to have ranch dressing, really. But with celery, it makes it a lot better. Yeah. What y'all think about making sure the mucus doesn't stay in y'all's bodies? Um, just making sure it keep you keep it flowing. Drink a lot of warm liquids. Um, preferably, preferably <laughs> tea or just warm warm water instead of drinking cold water you can boil you some water and let it cool to room temperature and or a little hotter than room temperature and drink it and just keep your stuff moving that way you can you know make sure nothing is getting stuck right here that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. In fact, in a minute, I'm about to make me a cup of green tea before I go to sleep. Well, it's gonna be a minute before I go to sleep, but I don't even know what time it is. I can't see that darn clock more than him. Mm -hmm. I think it's say 10, 49 or something. Either way. I'm not going to go to sleep right after I eat because I can't do that no way. But I'm going to let this digest. And didn't do, I didn't do my squats today. But I probably need, to, probably need to try to get those in before I go to bed. But I lost 
total today, 15 pounds. So, and I broke my, um, what do you call it? Oh, Lord. I hate when it get late because you can't think of nothing. The plateau. That's, that's the wrong thing. Okay. So, I broke my plateau. And I ain't ashamed to say I was the big girl. So, I'm at 139 right now. Happy about that. So, I still got... I'm, I really, I'm not going by pounds. But... If I say go weight, 130 is good for me. Anything my, you know, for on on the so-called scale. Oh, excuse me. Um, my height, which I'm a shorty. I can't. I think I've always been 4'11", but I think one time I went to the doctor and they said I was 5 feet. So I don't know if I'm 4'11 or 5 feet, whichever. Either way, for my height, I'm supposed to be like 100, 100 110 pounds or something like that. Y'all, I would look like a bobblehead, for real, if I was 110 pounds. I mean, I, I haven't been 110 pounds since I had my oldest son. I ain't trying to be that small. I don't even think I look right that small. I would probably look kind of sick or something. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to stick to my 130. That still leaves me curves. And gives me a little bit of meat on my bones. So, you know, you know, you know how they say when, when you get sick, if you lose too much weight. I ain't trying to do that. I want to stay at a healthy weight to... For, for my height, like I say, 130 is good for me. So, if I can lose nine more pounds while I'm being quarantined, I got the time to work out. I got the time to eat right, drink a lot of water, drink my tea. By the time I'm released out the door, when when the jail cells open, I'm, I'm planning to be fit. When I tell you, because somebody's beach... It's going to be calling my name. It's already calling my name now. My birthday is in June. And I'm ready to travel. But. <clears throat> hopefully. We can we can actually do some traveling by the end. But you know. We'll see. If I can't. Then I'll just be happy. I'm alive. And I'll pray that I make it to see my next birthday. So. I can definitely go to the beach. And get my beach on. <laughs> I'm a relax on, but yeah. So I am gonna do what I can do, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stay healthy, and I'm gonna try to look good in the process while I'm doing it. So yeah, y'all. So I am happy that you all stayed with me. Hopefully, y'all stay to the end. But I want y'all to be safe out there. Um, take care of yourselves and your family and your elderly ones if you have grandmothers and grandfathers and family friends whatever it is take care of them um, if you think you're sick or anything stay away from them um, take care of them from a distance but yes so we're going to pray for everybody and hope everybody makes it out of this 100% so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell to let, you know, be able to know when my next video is coming out. In fact, tomorrow, I'm probably going to do a video on um, something fast food. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but come back tomorrow and watch that video. But for now... I will see you all later, and thank you for joining me, my pretty white TBs. It's your girl, Greek Princess. I will see you all in another video. I love you all. Be safe, and come back and see me tomorrow. All right. Have a good night.